Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we're going to use the angle bisector and Stewart's theorem here within this problem to solve for x. Okay? Our problem is this we have this triangle. Okay? We have side lengths of 8, 10, and 12 for the triangle. We have a length CD, which we have is x, and we need to figure that out. Now, CD is an angle bisector, meaning these two angles, A, C, D, and D, C, B, are congruent. CD cuts the big angle directly in half. With this information, using these two theorems, we're going to show you how, well, to find X here. And good explanation of the angle bisector and Stewart's theorem here. All right? But, like always here, we encourage you to pause this video to see if you can solve for X first. Look up these theorems and see how it can help you. But... We're going to go through an explanation of them here and solve for x, okay? So the first thing I'll have to do here with this problem here, I'm going to set a value here from a, d, and d to b, okay? We know the 10 and 8 and the overall here is 12, but these individual ones, we know down here that a, d plus d, b equals a 12. So if I call the length of a, d to be, well, w, and then the length from db would have to be the length of 12 minus that length of w, whatever that length is here. All right. Now here's where we're going to apply the angle bisector theorem. I'm going to kind of break this down into four segments. This one a and then b here, then c and d. Well, the angle bisector theorem tells us that a over b is equal to c over D in this order. These two side lengths here, notice it's broken down by our angle bisector. It works right there. Okay. So now with this information, we can set up a proportion. A over B, which is 10 over 8, is equal to C over D. W over, well, 12 minus AW. Now from here, it'd be nice if we can figure out, well, what W is, and then also then get what D is with it. All right. So from here, let's go do that. We cross multiply. <laughs> and so we cross multiply up there and here. And we get a 120 minus 10 W on the left is equal to an 8 W on the right. We add a 10 W to both sides and we have 120 equals an 18 W. Divide both sides by 18. And we got a W value, I'll, I'll put it right here, W is equal to, and I wrote down as a fraction here, is a 20 over a 3. So we have length of here of 20 over 3. Okay. And then if we want to find, well, DB, that length, we have 12 minus a 20 over 3, which is the length of DB. And I did that work for you right here, and that is a 16 over Three when it's simplified. Uh, so here is a 16 over a 3. So great, that gives you the information here. We have all side lengths, and now we can apply what's called Stewart's theorem. Okay, and Stewart's theorem is this with the same A, B, C, D value, and I'm using X here for this angle bisecting line here. Stewart's theorem says that X squared equals an A times a B minus a C times a D. All right. So now we have all the information that we need. That's what we're going for here. We can plug it in. So again, X squared, we don't know what the X is, but we know the other values. A was 10 times B is eight minus a C 20 over three times a D, which is 16 over three. From all that, that simplifies X squared equals, that's going to be 80 minus this number here. I did it all for you, or 80 here, minus a 320 over 9, look at my notes here. But x squared to minus 1 fraction is 400 over a 9. So when we square root both sides, we know it's a plus or minus, but you can assume the negative number here can't be applied, so we're only dealing with the positive. So x equals numerator square root, we got 20 over a 3, square root of 9 is a 3. And so our x value here, x equals a 20 over a 3, and that was the length of CD. Well, hopefully you learned the angle bisector theorem as well as Stewart's theorem and applying both of them in this problem. Again, 
Like most theorems, more theorems you know, more tools in your arsenal to solve a problem like this. So, 20 over 3 was the answer here, and I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and sharing this video. Uh, this helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So, as always here, thanks for watching.